Hi, I'm Larry Smith from Valley Engineering and Cover Crops here in Rolla, Missouri. We're here today to show you how to install and belt adjust a redrive PSRU for a big twin Generac engine. And uh, we're going to show you all the parts and pieces you get and how to install them and uh, get you started. Okay, on the table here we have your bottom pulley assembly, which is a slip taper fit, taper lock. You have your top rotating assembly, which is your crush plate for your prop, drive flange, and your pulley, and your belt adjusting system here. And three sets of belts. Some may have two, some may have three, depends on the unit. And you got your assorted nuts, bolts, and things to, to attach it to the engine, and your mounting plate. And we're going to show you how to get started at the next page. Okay. We normally don't use air wrenches on when we're putting them on, but to make this go faster and so it goes along a little quicker, we're going to use an air gun. Remove the top three bolts of your engine. That doesn't make it much faster. That's better. We got the three top ones out. You lay those aside and discard them. Now you'll have studs to go in the two sides. And you'll have just a, a, a bolt to go in the top and hold her together. On our installations, normally we use this as a mounting attachment. So you'll have, you'll have to fix your own to go in there to mount your engine mount to. But for this application today, just to, you don't want to leave that open for sure. We, uh, we go ahead and put a bolt in there and tighten it down. If you have a bed mount and don't use it, you'll need to put, install the bolt and tighten it. So it'd be in there. Two of your nuts in your set are non-locking. You'll use those to um, run your studs down with. I got that in back. There goes your sirens. Okay. We get both, get both these installed, we'll double nut them, run them down, and we'll uh, put the lock nuts on it with washers, tighten them down, then we'll show you how to put the bracket on. Okay, okay we're back. While we were out, we went in and installed our studs, put on the lock nut in the washer, drawed it down. The next step is to put on the, the non-locking nut, goes next, first, washer, non-locking nut, and a washer. And the reason that is is so when you put your bracket on and you're adjusting for your alignment, you can use the non-locking nut to move backwards and forwards and line it up with. Next step, another set of washers, and this time the locking nuts on the outside. Now, I run the, run the non-locking ones in a little bit extra so the bracket has plenty of room to flex. Then you have two 5.8s that go on the bottom. The 5.8s with the head machined a little bit. Those in the side that's fly cut. The standard one goes in the other side. Okay. We're going to buzz those down right quick. You tighten those up. Now, at this point, you take your square and try to get your bracket pretty straight. With your wrench, you bring your outside locking nuts down, snug them up, and spin your, spin your, your non-locking ones to it, tighten them up. That way, you still, can, you still make your adjustments here if your bracket needs to go in or out, but you want to get it as close as you can using your 90 degree straight edge, make any adjustment here with these. Tighten this one until your bracket's about right. And bring your outside one up to it. Snug it with your non-locking. Get her straight. Call her good. Okay? All right, the next phase of our assembly will be the bottom pulley. Now normally, on a standard application, when we install one, we end up cutting an inch off this shaft. It's not absolutely necessary, but the prop does run pretty close to it. 
we like to have a little bit of clearance there we cut an inch off this off this shaft we knock the keyway in the key in in the keyway and your pulley is a taper fit real simple line up the key bump it on you can see it there we go now you've got your two allen head screws an average it'll be set in oh an eighth of an inch so if you've cut that off that's just a rough guess so you know where to start snug it up and your bottom that's all you got to do to it the last thing you do once all the top assembly is installed is to slide this in or out so there's no use tighten this just yet we'll get our top assembly put on next and show you how to, to get it all set up then we'll kind of line this up by eye and tighten her up okay we're back and ready for the next step that is your top rotating assembly which is for your prop mount and uh, has your belt tensioning adjustment it is your crush plate your drive flange your extension on this side we've got the that's your adjuster is your tensioning balls very important your 30,000 shim must be between those two pieces when you reassemble it and then you have a shim pack that just sets the space here for this and uh, that'll all go together on the engine and when we always set it up first without the prop on it we do all of our belt alignment and adjustment get her tuned in without the prop on there so there's no chance of getting whacked so at this time you have it in your hand put your finger under it and hold it together you take your assembly and slide it on there you already have your shim pack in there slide this on 30,000 washer and your adjuster now on a big twin your idler will be on the left side of the engine the oil filter side of the engine so you kind of as you're holding in your hand you'll lean that a little bit to the side and put your adjuster to the top now it has a neutral position in that neutral position these are your belt tensioning marks and that in their in their loose sitting idle they're about three quarters of an inch apart a little later on when we get it on we've got the belts on and we put the, the preload on it to tighten the belts with these two marks will line up like this of course that's how much preload you have on your belts it's, it's that much and they'll be lined up together and that's when you know your belt tension is proper so you grab it with your fingers hold it together you don't want your tensioning balls to fall out turn your bolt so it lines up right you pick it up pull up here stick it right in there take your big nut and washer hold this together you don't want it to come apart come around to the back put on your nut and washer Good hot day out here in the sunshine to do this. All right. Now, without the belts, this is your total assembly. Gives you a pretty good idea how it looks. Your belt tensioner slides in and out. You would adjust it up here. Of course, no prop, no prop bolts in it yet. Everything's just good and loose. No problem here. You take your belts, be ready to slide them on under the idler. Just pull it out to the side, keep it out of your way. Flip your belts on. We like to get them all turned the same way, just for grins. Makes me feel better. Now, your whole assembly would be on. Pretty well snugged up here like she's going to run. Of course, you get a big wrench in your kit, tighten it with, tighten your assembly. The only thing we don't provide is the, is the wrench to go on this. We just use a crescent wrench to pull your, pull your belt tension. I'll get one here in a minute and demonstrate that. But the belts are on loosely. And as I look at it, I say, well, these, this bottom pulley is just for sure too far out, so you got to bump it in, line it up. Now, with the belts tight, we'll 
pull them down, we'll tighten them. The most important part here of this alignment is to make sure that the two pulleys are in the same vertical plane, vertical alignment. Now they may not necessarily be vertical in and out, but they need to be vertical this way so that the face of this one is parallel with the face of this one. That's very important. Otherwise, if this is leaning out, your belts are going to try to run off the front, and which you'll, you'll see it. And that's when, if you, if you put your straight edge on here, and the distance between the bottom of this one and the top of this one is a lot, you take your wrench, you adjust your studs, to make that lean in or lean out to make it in the same plane right here. So, the next thing would be to, you want to line them up this way part of the groove, straight up and down with each other. Of course, you have to allow for when you tighten this up and you snug this up, this pulley moves out just a little bit. So you start with the bottom pulley a little bit in. You tighten this up and the pulley pulls out. And then you line up again and say, yeah, that looks pretty good. And you get to that point where you feel like you've done the best you can do with your eyeball. We normally like to take two of the belts off, or one of the belts off, put the other one right in the middle, put your tension on it, tighten her up, start your engine and run it. If that belt runs perfectly true in the middle and doesn't run off backwards and forth, then you know you're really close. If it runs off, then you gotta make an adjustment. But that's an easy way to adjust it and check it and make sure it's running good and straight. And then once you've got it where you're really satisfied with it's all straight, we're going to pop it back off. We're going to put in our prop bolts, put our prop on it, put it back on. You're good to go. You don't have to mess with your belt anymore. Everything's running good and straight, and, and you're out of the way of the propeller. So I guess that's it for now. We'll have a, we'll think a minute. If we have anything we've missed, we'll have a little recap and go from there. All right, we're here for our recap. I'm trying to think of anything we might have forgot to tell you. The only thing I can think of is that when you get ready to put it together for that last time, there will be in the kit a bearing retainer plate. That's what all six of your prop bolts will go through. Through here, all six prop bolts, you need to put that on first, then your drive, then your prop, then your crush plate. That would complete your, your outside. And you've got your bolt here, but you don't want to be sure and not forget your retainer. Then you have to hold this, take about six hands, and be sure then, I'm gonna slide this off just to make it easier for me to show you. You got your assembly. Get it on there. You gotta make sure you got your 30,000 shim washer. Idler to the, to the side. That's straight up. Your two little red marks. They look good. Everything's ready now. Your prop bolts will be sticking out. You'd have your, go ahead and put your prop on. Slide your belts on. It'll be behind your prop now, so you know you've got them all on there. Now you would have your prop, everything's on here, ready to go together. Stick her up. Hey, that breeze starting to feel good. Okay, get her started on here and pull her up. About stuck. We're gonna stop and put our belts on. Make sure they're all down in the grooves good. Pull our idler around. Should be good and straight. We've made sure already that this is in a vertical plane. And these are in a vertical plane. We'll take our big wrench. Tighten her up till you see the little red marks line up. 
tighten your big nut. Now, your belt is the proper tension. Your two little red lines are marked, marked lined up there good. It's already been pre-run. We did that before we put our prop on. You be ready to go check her out. Of course, of course, when you run it, you want to check it and make sure you keep a watch. Make sure these belts don't run off. Make sure you don't hear a little popping sound, which means it's climbing up and jumping off. You may have to make minor adjustments until you get it really dialed in good. But overall, that's the basic installation. Uh, I think we about got her all covered. Of course, if you have any questions, feel free to call me here at the shop. Area code 573-364-6311. And uh, we'll get you took care of. Thank you.